Hi friends, Miss Lofty's here with another social emotional learning read aloud. Today, I'm gonna read you one of my favorite books. This is one that I used to read to my son and daughter. It's called Too Loud Lily, and it's written by Sophie Laguna. That means she's the author. The illustrator is Carrie Argent. That means Carrie did all the awesome pictures in this book. Everyone told Lily Hippo that she was too loud. Lily Hippo, keep it down, please. I can't hear myself think, said Dad. Lily Hippo, sing quietly. You'll wake the baby, said Mom. Lily Hippo, you make more noise than a herd of wild elephants, said Lily's big brother. Lily tried doing something very quiet. Lily Hippo, not so loud, they all said. At school, Lily's best friends were Hester and Lou. Sometimes, even Hester and Lou were upset with Lily. She was too loud. Why do you think they're upset with Lily? I think... She got them all in trouble at school. They were being loud together. Hmm. Then a new teacher came to Lily's school. Her name was Miss Lupiola and she wore a big red poncho. She taught music and drama. Lily liked Miss Lupiola. She decided to be in the school play. On the first day of rehearsals, Miss Lupiola taught everyone a fast stomping dance. Lily tried to do the dance very quietly. Wonderful work, called out Miss Lupiola, but could you try stomping just a little louder this time? Lily really liked Miss Lupiola. Lily stomped a lot louder. Magnificent, cried Miss Lupiola. Lily Hippo, would you like to lead the dance? Lily loved Miss Lupiola. Hmm, think about it. Why do you think Lily loves Miss Lupiola? You might be right, let's see. Lily was in charge of crashing the cymbals, banging the drums for the storm noises growling and roaring for the fierce lions, cackling and screeching for the wicked witch noises, singing the song about the very brave prince, and clapping in time to all the music. On the night of the play, Lily was very nervous. She for what if she forgot what to do? What if she tried to speak? and no words came out. Or even worse, what if she was too loud? Lily could feel her heart thumping and her knees shaking. How do you think Lily was feeling? I was thinking nervous or scared or worried too. Hmm. She's even kind of holding her tummy. We talked about that earlier in our lesson about the dragon breathing. We said if you're feeling scared, your tummy might hurt. The room was very, very quiet. Everybody was waiting for Lily to go on. Go on, Lily, whispered Miss Lupiola. Nice and loud. Lily took a deep breath. Let 
the show begin, she said in her loudest stage voice. Lily did her best fast stomping. Her best crashing and banging, her best growling and roaring, her best cackling and screeching, and her best singing and clapping. And everybody loved it. Hooray for Lily Hippo, they cried out. The sound of all that clapping and cheering and stamping was very special and very, very loud, a bit like Lily. And that was the end. So friends, Lily learned an important lesson. She learned that yes, there are times we do need to be quiet, like when we're at school or when we're reading or when our parents ask us to, like at nighttime or maybe mealtime. We shouldn't use such of a loud voice, but there are times when we can be loud. Lily learned from Miss Lupiola that one time that she can use her loud voice is when she is on the stage. Can you think of other times that we can use our loud voices? Outside time. That's right. When we're on the playground at school or maybe when we're playing in the backyard or on the porch or the balcony, we can be a little bit louder than we are inside. Very good friends. All right, guys. I miss you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.